Once again, hello and welcome to the channel. This is Dev.log signing in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Do click on that subscribe button so that you become part of this Dev community as well as click the bell icon next to it so that you allow for all notifications so that you get updated whenever this channel releases a new video. Software developers. At a basic definition, these are people that actually get paid to sit around all day typing words known as code to develop a piece of intangible product that is known as software. This software is something that you cannot feel, you cannot touch. It has no physical presence. The only presence it has is the digital presence of value that it has in people's lives whether it be social, financial, medical value, software usually has a part to play in it. And then we have software engineering or the software engineers. Now, I've learned over the years that a lot of people seem to think that these titles are representing the exact same thing. And in today's standards, well, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yes, they are the exact same thing. If you are a software engineer, you are essentially a software, in, uh, software developer and vice versa. You see this a lot where individuals get hired as software engineers only to find that the duties and responsibilities of that individual are the exact same duties and responsibilities of a software developer which is a more appropriate title if you think about it and depending on where you live in terms of country. What I mean by this, for example, is that in Canada, it is illegal for you to have engineer in your title unless if you are an accredited engineer, officially certified. And if you really think about it, you start to wonder just how many countries are actually implementing a law that is like this. Or to be more specific, are we implementing this law in South Africa or any law that is sort of like it? Yes, we do. EXA. That is E-C-S-A. EXA. Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. That is the Engineering Council of South Africa which is a body that is essentially responsible for the accreditation of engineering programs as well as the registration of persons as engineers in specified categories. Okay, I see now, I got it wrong. It's the registration of persons as professionals in specified categories. So apparently EXA is the only body in South Africa that is authorized to register engineering professionals and bestow the use of engineering titles on persons who have met the requisite professional registration criteria. Criteria. Yeah, yeah, I got it right there. So there is some kind of criteria that should be met in order to receive an engineering title. And as far as I know, computer engineering is recognized by EXA as an engineering practice as well as profession. Software engineering falls under computer science. And software engineering is software development. So how far does this thing reach? Am I missing something here? Let me know in the comment section on what you think about this. For those of you that believe that software engineering is not the same thing as software development, well, then there's no clear line that exists between the two. Apart from the differences that you see from different companies who have different views on what software engineering and software development is, especially in terms of duty and responsibilities. Either way, this is an interesting one to actually think about and look into for a clearer understanding as well as to find out how this is actually being implemented right here in South Africa. Do remember to click on that like button. It does show support for the channel as well as support for this particular video. And also share it uh, with your friends and all the other professionals that you know of. I think uh, this video can easily reach 100 likes if you guys do that. But yeah, um, anyway, if you have something to say about this video in the comment section, you are free to do that. Uh, yeah, this is dev.log signing off. Peace.